Cynthia, for a sim say, um, if you are living in Ghana, you can't be sad. Say, or rather, who are not just say, we need data. We need data, and I just say, or rather, who a son say, say, who far a social media a fanai be beer, obete, and some vovra a hosso, a way a mamogana. Nayan Casa Yenim, ye vice president, a ye doctor Mahmoud Baumia, or no one Casa Nihu, can ye an hope for fair for what to me who say yes, or Bamu or Bapa, and ye, and who fed ye a jalin from Nitiso ever see Nenase. Na a ye young Casa ye sitting president, his excellency, Nanado dan kwa a kofo ado, edi in sembi abe tuja e enche 2024, ye benya e ye zongo, em, first lady, efri, e ye zongo, e ye Samira Bahumia, en hon asem ena, chese ye kagana fobe bre, eba monti, so some lady bi kwa ebe di, e ye Samira Bahumia atam chese, o ye fula nini, ena fula nini, en to mi embe di gana, so ema, fula nini, been so ever monte so ever reply sa lady na any day dear young kasa ye sitting president nanado eche se enche na che se ye binya a ye first lady efri a ye zongu em akache na se di en semi esiko ni bi any what did my mia raise the presidency in to seventh of december twenty twenty four we will have a zongo first lady in Ghana yeah, uh, so there's a lot of opportunity for by the grace of God Muhammad Obama wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024 we will have a Zongo first lady in Ghana yeah, uh, so there's a lot of opportunity for Chancellor's here to reaffirm the friendship and cooperation that there are between our two countries in so many areas of Ghanaian national life. We have appreciated the cooperation of Germany, especially in areas of energy, efficiency, the development of renewables, and the development of our transmission infrastructure. These are areas where we've been benefited greatly from German technology and assistance. As again, under the G20 comp compact with Africa, has been also a very beneficial and val valuable source of cooperation between our two countries. And indeed, I intend to be in Berlin in the latter part of this of of, th of November for the uh, the conference that Chancellor Scholz is uh, organizing over the. Uh, the, the compact with Africa. We had an opportunity in our meeting to discuss, apart from economic matters in Ghana, to discuss issues of migration, to discuss problems to do with the instability in parts of West Africa and the Sahelian region, and the, the coup d'etats that have engulfed at least four of the states of West Africa, and shared very common views as to how we're looking at the future and how we can work together to restore democracy to these countries and strengthen democratic development. Muhammad Obama wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024. We will have a Zongo first lady in Ghana. Uh, so there's a lot of opportunity for by the grace of God Muhammad Obama wins the presidency in the 7th of December 2024 we will have a Zongo first lady in Ghana uh, so there's a lot of opportunity for blocking any initiatives that the Security Council can take over the the conflict so clearly, there is a need for all of us to rethink how the future will be as Ghana continues to be strong in a denunciation of Russia's aggression over Ukraine. But at the same time, um, we believe that greater and greater efforts should be made to see the possibility of 
a resolution of the conflict. Uh, it's, it, it has important international implications for us, and we need to be able to make sure that uh, as quickly as possible we come to peace. In the same way, we have been, we were very clear and vocal in our condemnation of the attack on Israel on the 7th of October by the Hamas organization and uh, recognize fully Israel's right to protect itself and defend itself. But at the same time, you look at the humanitarian consequences of what is going on over there. There's clearly a need for us, all of us, the international community, the global community, to, long, to look beyond the immediate issues of the, of, 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 of the of the consequences of the Hamas uh, attacks on Israel, to be looking at the possibility of a comprehensive settlement of this matter. It's not possible. The Council is here to reaffirm the friendship and cooperation that there are between our two countries. In so many areas of Ghanaian national life, we have appreciated the cooperation of Germany, especially in areas of energy efficiency, the development of renewables, and the development of our transmission infrastructure. These are areas where we've been benefited greatly from German technology and assistance. As again, under the G20 comp compact with Africa, has been also a very beneficial and val valuable source of cooperation between our two countries. And indeed, I intend to be in Berlin in the latter part of this of of, th of November for the uh, the conference that Chancellor Scholz is uh, organizing over the. Uh, the, the compact with Africa. We had an opportunity in our meeting to discuss, apart from economic matters in Ghana, to discuss issues of migration, to discuss problems to do with the instability in parts of West Africa and the Sahelian region, and the, the coup d'etats that have engulfed at least four of the states of West Africa, and shared very common views as to how we're looking at the future and how we can work together to restore democracy to these countries and strengthen democratic development in West Africa as a whole. We're looking forward to working together uh, to promote uh, the reform of the United Nations, especially of its Security Council, I think we have all seen in recent times that um, the Council, in many ways, is not fit for purpose in dealing with questions to do with international peace and security. The classic example is what is happening uh, over the Ukraine conflict, where the, the nation that is the aggressor is also the veto-wielding country, and which is blocking any initiatives 